welcome back to another episode of Last Elder Survival Today. We're with certain boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day. Unlike this raider that we are bringing down to his doom, and he doesn't even give us good loot, but that's okay because for today, we have to count them two raids lined up for us to get our shenanigans into. Goodbye to raider number two as well, and there's plenty of more death doom. And okay, can you people drop something good? Can you at least have like a machete? Oh my goodness gracious, none of these raiders had a machete or something good that they they're all just dropping poopy armor wow well isn't today off to a great start hopefully we're getting the bad luck out of the way first and then there is some great luck awaiting us at some of the raids we're gonna be going on throughout the latter half of today and eh, at least we got ourselves a winchester and that over there as you guys can tell from my inventory we are well prepared for the shenanigans we are gonna be getting ourselves into and mm, we are well prepared to loot this place up ah not even getting a finger from the soldier, dude. Today's luck is looking a little bit rough. I am not a fan of this, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day. We do got a double raid lined up for today in addition to some adventures and shenanigans we're gonna be getting ourselves into as we continue waiting for season two. Ah, dude, with how long this wait has been between season one and season two, this better be a substantially better season than season one. I'm still giving them the benefit of the doubt that season one was their little bit of an experiment in testing out the season system, but I really hope that season two, with how long it has been taking, has some pretty decent stuff in store for us. And if it does, I will be extremely happy. And if it doesn't, I will be big sad but hopefully i will get to be big happy or something instead but for now let's continue getting through the rest of this convoy and continue dreaming about season two and all of the glory that we wanted to bring because dude i want to okay 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 i think last day on earth heard me talking about season two and glory and then it gave us good loot is this a sign from the last day on earth gods the gods of loot the gods that uh well since considering the fact that we raid every single day the gods of last day on earth loot that we are definitely decent fans of could they be speaking to us through the loot of what we are collecting are they trying to tell us that season two <gasps> eh, okay maybe not through the military jeep over here but are they trying to tell us that season two is actually going to be a good one because like season one i guess like why don't we talk a little bit about season one and everything that it did bring to the table and this convoy didn't bring much to the table nor to my backpack but maybe this will be opportunity for a little bit of events to pop up maybe airdrop we go to maybe chopper events psych there is nothing that we go to although i might just go ahead and run to this pine grove really quickly that'll bring our energy under 70 and that is usually what spurs an event to spawn in at least from what i and many other people have noticed Usually when you go under 70 energy, something ends up happening, but like season one as a concept was a great idea. Just the execution was a little bit rough. And from what Last Day on Earth has been saying about season two so far, they really were taking a lot of feedback into account. So hopefully there's going to be some very specific things we see like, let's freaking go. It's just the dealer. Wah, wah. All right, well, why don't we go and kind of hit up another place really quickly because as we do continue running around, it should cause more events to spawn in. Otherwise, I'm kind of just trying to avoid my home until that zombie attack happens. Otherwise, we'll just run our way back home over there on the lickety split but uh, yeah with season one there were certain things that a lot of people were not fans of like the boss not dropping any good loot yeah not a fan of that charlie senior i remember you just dropping some big bones like Ugh, absolute feel absolutely disgusting a two a spit on you charlie senior but uh what should i call we obviously had that we had some tasks that were pretty ridiculous to get done oh this little event let's freaking go it's an event that we kind of care about going to the airdrop and then maybe the chopper event will appear as well but yeah between like the loot that the boss didn't really drop or really any of the other bosses like the bosses that were added to the farm motel police station and bunker they didn't really drop any special loot either like overall the loot throughout the season was very underwhelming and even some of the rewards for certain levels of the battle pass were a little bit on the underwhelming side as well along with the the fact that like season one besides the season system like at the end of the day what th they did i don't think it really brought anything new to the game die spitter like i don't think it really brought anything new to the game and this is actually where i'm a little bit more excited about season two because we like for a fact know that some well i guess they did bring the revamped chopper system but i mean that wasn't really new that was more revamping an existing thing and forcing us to have to deal with jane every single day we're, we're hitting jane with the silent treatment today that hopefully will lead us to that leviathan skin because we are so close to oh my god i had to kill a deer i'm so sorry we're so close to maxing out 
whatchamacallit, maxing out our chopper to the point where we are like pretty much guaranteed to get the Leviathan skin. We just gotta finish leveling up our gas tank and ooh, pieces of candy. I like what I see here. Let me go and pick up a couple of the highlights out of this and mm, from there, why don't we, ah, is there anything I might wanna get rid of? Like this reinforced shirt potentially. Actually, I'm gonna go and toss that gas into our uh, what you call chopper, and then we will go and uh, hopefully a chopper event appears from here. If not, we'll head on over and uh, begin raid numero one, and hopefully that'll spur something to happen. And yeah, we're not looking super great in terms of that, so we might need. I might like drop the phone and a couple of things like that to grab everything that we can. But I, I am excited because like with season two, we do know that there's gonna be a couple of very specific new things, like those infected hive type dilios in addition to the harpoon gun and hopefully more stuff on top of that we are still crossing our fingers that is finally the one that gives us the kevlar armor we thought that season one was going to give us kevlar armor was not the case unfortunately but we did see the fella in kevlar dragging away charlie senior so there might very well be a connection there and uh, did i use any first aid kit okay no oh what i can do is actually put that gun open there and hey a little bit more inventory room coming my way i'll put phone away and bada boom bada bing we're looking good to go but yeah, that, I am still holding out hope that this could be the update that does bring Kevlar as well because like a lot of people thought that the Kevlar was going to be coming in season one because they literally showed a dude with Kevlar armor. But I mean, he was just up in a helicopter. He never really touched down on the ground. But now things have changed a little bit. And yeah, I guess we might need to deal with these zombies over here. Things have changed a little bit because as we saw in the trailer of season one, the person with Kevlar was actually on the ground floor dragging Charlie Sr. away. And this is something pretty interesting over here because, well, Charlie Sr. is apparently going to be some sort of a revamped boss because actually just the other day they released these screenshots or i guess these images of the new zombies that are going to be introduced we pretty much broke this down a lot in the last episode and long story short what it came down to is the fact that these zombies are going to have something to do with like those weird infected type hive things that we saw and there's going to be some sort of a connection but the really interesting thing is that in the trailer you can actually see a guy in kevlar dragging away charlie senior and then apparently Charlie Sr. becomes super infected in one of these new zombie screenshots, which makes me think that something may have gone down and maybe we might be able to like, maybe the Kevlar guy somehow died in the process and we'll be able to recover some Kevlar armor. That would be absolutely glorious if that was the case. Maybe I'm being a little bit too hopeful over there, but the fact that we finally saw the Kevlar person in action on the ground, dragging away a dead boss that turns out to come back alive, like, I don't think it's too out of the question for there potentially to be a connection over there and maybe when we kill Charlie Sr. we might somehow be able to like recover that as a prize because that was one of the big critiques about season one that Kafir responded to. They were like, okay, yeah, we didn't really get much of a reward for the final boss. A little bit of an L there. Big L actually. So maybe this is going to be their improvement of giving a very unique and powerful type of reward that is definitely something that I would be down ski doodles for. And in addition to that in this potential Kevlar connection of course there is also the fact that we do have a confirmed harpoon gum harpoon gum I don't know if they sell harpoon gum but they have a harp a confirmed I was about to say a harpoon confirmed gun a confirmed harpoon gun i don't know why that was such a difficult set of words to put together in that order but okay you never know the randomest of things can turn out to be challenges you never know sometimes you just can't prepare for them and apparently confirmed harpoon guns are the bane of my existence now over here we do have access to some weapons we got the access to some hatchets we got some more hatchets in the back and 2c4 that is what we need to commence with today's raid of jack before we make our way over to raid numero dos although i have a feeling I just got this feeling that the chopper event's about to spawn, in which case we might hit it up after the event. Or is the chopper event gonna- Wow, the chopper event isn't spawning on us. Well, would you look at that? Oh, we got one energy left over, so close. But yeah, I don't know. I am looking more forward to season two because from what they're saying, they are taking a lot of feedback into account for it from some of the Facebook comments. We have seen Kafir uh, shared some of the information that they have released in some of their, uh, whatchamacallit, like information slash news type updates. So. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for season two, and especially just the fact that it appears like we know that there's more like new stuff coming, like the harpoon gun. You know, that's actually gonna be a new usable weapon we could use. There's gonna be the revamped Charlie Senior boss and other like infected type zombies. And holy guacamole, this base has been absolutely destroyed. Now there's actually gonna be a pretty certain way that we want to raid this base that should hopefully net us some pretty nifty loot. If we break, no, 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 not into that. If we break into that and then put the C4 
more that I gotta go and grab. Like, oh my god, this thing's been destroyed. Look at all those destroyed walls. Hot diggity dog. But there's gonna be a certain couple of walls you wanna put stuff on to maximize the loot we're gonna get out of here. But from researching Jack's base, let me just say, I'm not entirely convinced that this is like a base that's gonna be worth breaking into, but for the people, I will always be happy to raid and also accidentally stab myself on some spikes without further ado. Bada bing, bada boom. We are into room number one. You guys can already see a destroyed chest. We're gonna be trying to whoop juke our way out of there. You guys can already see that destroyed chest. We're gonna be trying to go ahead and loot on up before we make our way over to wall numero dos. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to season two. We, st we still have like no updated date as of right now until further notice they are still aiming to have it out in september and they haven't announced the delay yet so i'm hopeful that within this next week the time will come and the update will drop because i feel like if they couldn't get it out in the next week they may have maybe like announced like hey guys not coming out in september anymore but uh who knows man who knows at the end of the day. But I am looking forward to how they take that feedback into account and hopefully revamp the tasks to make them better, revamp the bosses like Charlie Sr. to make them better because we know Charlie Sr. is coming back hopefully this time with a vengeance of better stuff. Bada bing, bada boom! And we're into room number two and wave of zombies numero dos as well. And we're gonna be taking a little bit of damage throughout this. So let's just try and back it up and take out some of the faster zombies. But first and foremost, but yeah, between that, between hopefully a revamped battle pass and some of the hopefully better rewards that we'll be getting, hopefully better tasks. Like a lot of the season one feedback, I really hope that Kafir does learn a lot from season one and does really improve on making season two better. And hopefully, if there are new things like the shipwreck, Kefir, please make them for the love of everything. Make them permanent. Like, that's the one thing that I'm kind of worried about with this whole season system is that, like, what happens if you start playing Last Day on Earth in the middle of season three? Like, you might never be able to go back and experience season one and season two. So, like, personally, the way that I think it should work is that, like, this season stuff should stick around to a certain degree if that makes sense you know like maybe if you were to like start the game right now you would start with season one or something like that or maybe after you finish the survival guide it starts with season one when season two comes out like if you just start the game after you finish season one season two will begin or maybe just some of the let's freaking go decent stuff over here uh i mean not not amazing but it's decent this over here though but boom is some of the stuff that i was looking forward to but yeah we use the c4 to break into this um as you guys are seeing by no stretch of the imagination i don't think that's worth a c4 really but yolo we had this base i want to break into it i want to show off what it has and i at least want to collect a couple of things like a couple of valuable pistols on the way we still got a whole ton more chests we got to break into so no worries plenty of lutin and raiden coming another way but back to the season system i don't know i really hope that for season two or maybe even they retroactively go back to season one i hope that they make any new areas like permanent like i, I don't want the shipwreck event to just like be like the shipwreck event it was around for season one then it disappeared and at least for now we're not seeing it again like i really hope that they do add in permanent additions and no the gas station change doesn't count because like dude i don't know that that wasn't even that that's not really that special Unless, until the ATV potentially is at the gas station because they have an ATV work in progress over there. So maybe we'll be able to literally modify our ATV and get upgrades for our ATV similar to the chopper system. In which case, I'm kind of down for that. Uh, if that's the reason that the gas station was revamped, I won't be too mad bro about it. Because then maybe that's how we'll be able to get like perks for our ATV and stuff like that as well. So... I mean, trust me, I like the old chopper system better, but this one has had some of its merits, like actually upgrading our chopper storage up to, well, not chopper storage, but our chopper gas tank up to 300. That was definitely like a nice little benefit of it. All the leveling up we had to do and the fact we lost all of our chopper progress from how the chopper used to work before. And for quite a while, we didn't have the same level of storage as we used to. Like, don't get me wrong, it definitely had its negatives, but if it's kind of like in the big picture of preparing the gas station as kind of like being that central vehicle hub for upgrading your vehicles including the oh oh planks including the atv it kind of starts to make sense like the bigger picture to me but time will tell with that and uh, in all uh, and time will tell with how all of the future seasons work as well but that's definitely a big thing i'm hoping for is that they do kind of like add in permanent stuff that isn't just temporary with the seasons or like you know if there's a new player or something that they can actually play through the seasons in order not just like hey you join in the middle of season three here's all these random tasks that you don't know the backstory to you know like i don't know i really hope that they do that i think that'd be a pretty cool way of incorporating like a storyline into last day on earth where like, each season like you know lasts like three weeks or maybe they'll make like the future ones more weeks season one was three weeks though you know and if they make like season one three weeks and then you know you do three weeks of season one and then season two begins for you or something 
you know? And then, like, as new seasons come out, they'll come out for everybody. But if you are, like, someone who is, like, just starting out on Last Day on Earth, you can still experience the past seasons. Has anyone actually who started playing Last Day on Earth lately or maybe started a new account? Do you guys know if you can, like, if you start or, like, can potentially do Season 1? Or is Season 1 literally lost to, into the abyss of forever? Because that would personally, like, oh, baby, we got a level up. Let's freaking go. And the level gives to us... Mm, quiet gunner. I guess I'll take that. Sometimes I use shotgun rain during a raid, so why not? Um, we'll go and put some food into our backup pocket, and let's go and collect. Actually, I wanted to put some stuff away into our chopper, I think, but yeah, I think that's definitely, like, the big thing is that it would be pretty cool in this season system, and even season one, it would make a lot more sense to me if it is, like, actually, like, sequential stuff that people, when they join later on, might actually be able to hop into as well, and, you know, like, they could start season one, go to season two after that. And eventually when they get caught up with the seasons, they're waiting for the next season to come out. That would be a pretty cool way of incorporating like a linear storyline quest system in The Last Day on Earth. And low key, I would kind of dig it. So let me know what you guys think about that idea. And in general, a lot of the stuff that we were talking about regarding season one and potential improvements for season two. And even what you guys would want to see in season two personally change the most. Or like just added it in the first place. And Harpoon got hype. I can't wait to show that puppy off. So uh, go ahead, let me know in that comment section down below. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't have a C4 over there. Let me know in that comment section down below. And remind that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the wiki tribe. Dollar. I choose such place store gift card giveaway. All I gotta do as well is make sure the like button, make sure to subscribe, and that'll let you win on today's video. Y'all could go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick random video for the past week, pick random comment from that random video, and that's will be winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up. Sorry about the burp there. On the channel as well, that it helps you stay in the loop on to know when these amazing new survivals are going up. And of course, it's a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of info. As soon as new info comes out about season two, future seasons, future updates, all that type of jazz, we're going to be sure to go ahead and let y'all know, spread the good word, spread the info. And of course, as soon as the updates themselves come out, as soon as the new seasons do drop, we are checking them out in their fullest and showing off all that they have to offer. We're going to be battling that freaking infected Charlie Sr. When he decides to come out, we're going to be showing off that harpoon gun. If something is new, if there's a new location, we're checking it out. If there's a new weapon, we're using it. We're crafting it. Whatever there is. If there's a new battle pass, we're showing off all the rewards. We're trying to knock out the tasks. We're doing all of that. So stay excited, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm glad you like those shoes, Raider. Please do enjoy. So, uh, yeah, have that notification bell hit. And best of luck in the giveaway. For now, we got to go and call these Raiders back and be like, Hello, Raiders. It is time for a little thing known as Raid Numero 2 for today. And if you guys are hyped for season two as well, definitely make sure to smash that like button to let me know that you are looking forward to it because I don't know, man. Season one definitely was a bit underwhelming, but I think it laid the foundation for hopefully a successful season two. If season two is underwhelming, my heart will be a little bit shattered. But you guys know me. I am optimistic, sometimes hopelessly optimistic. And uh, I, I, I'm in need of a good last day on Earth update, man. It's been too long. I am going through update withdrawal, bro. It is not a little yokel. And for now, I will also go and craft up some iron hatchets for this raid because I'm not trying to drop coins to do that because it's literally just crafting up a couple of hatchets. And with all the supplies gathered for a hopefully successful raid, let's go and get these iron hatchets we're gonna need to get the raid in the first place. And then raiders, please give us something good today, lads and last years. How about you smash that like button right now and maybe the raiders, if we can get enough likes on this puppy. What, what, what Satan? I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little bit greedy today. Nine? Can we get nine likes on today's video? If so, I think that the Raiders might finally give us something good. Raiders, you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I, I can see it in his eyes. I think he agrees. So one, one last second, y'all. Let, let's get up to that magical ninth like, and let's hope that it's enough and that this Raider isn't playing tricks on us. And now it is time for us to go and check out what this base that we are going to raid is. And it looks like we're going to be raiding a last by the name of Sun Yu. Sun Yu, thank you so much for volunteering to be today's, uh, yet... I don't want to say victim, the star of today's... Oh, see what I did there? The star... Ah, ah I'm awful. Uh, the star of today's second raid that will get us up to two skulls and one step closer towards... I would normally say four skulls, but lately, three skulls have literally been giving us more revenge raids than four skulls. Ooh, and already... And he did some band-aid. Thank you very kindly. Son, you is a gentleman and or gentlewoman. Sun Yu, thank you very much for providing me with the heals right outside of your base. 
before we break into it. And oh, looks like they got a little bit of a stockpile up in here of chests. Well, 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 don't mind if I do. Let me just go ahead and start breaking into this puppy. And ooh, promising start. The engine parts and chopper wheel. That's a present for Jane. Oh, baby, we're getting Jane's freaking presents, man. That's always good when we could, you know, steal some stuff and uh, give them to Jane ultimately as we work our way towards that chopper. And oh, speaking of season two, that, oh no, I forgot to silence my guns. I knew I forgot something important. I caramba, I didn't realize it was gonna be this important. Uh, luckily, I don't think noise is gonna be too big of an issue in this raid, so not the biggest owl in the world, but that's what we get. That's what we get. I, I, I pulled the trigger, man. It's been a while since we've done a double raid. I was excited to get into the meat of it. And as a result, here we are without one of the most important things that you need to have during a raid if you have guns. It's a little something known as a silencer. Yeah, we uh, we dropped the ball on that one. Uh, <laughs> Ay, caramba. Luckily, like I'm saying, we could probably use the pistols and get away with it because like, we should have noise to spare. There's nine chests we gotta break into. We broke into one wooden level one wall. This is gonna be the iron working bench we gotta break into. We also got more melee weapons throughout this raid. So honestly, we might just do a little bit of the fighting with the actual weapons present over here and then just kind of bring those pistols back on home. And nothing super, Im oh, wrench is always nice. Wrench is always nice. Jane likes those. Jane likes those and they might be coming handy in the future as well. They've been pretty useful for us in the past. I know that we used them for... Do we have to use them for the chopper? Oh, speak of the devil, there's the chopper. I'm not 100% sure if we had to use them for the chopper before, but like, I feel like we have, but like, I'm not 100% sure. And YOLO, let me go and toss that over there. I caramba, I'm cornered. I'm cornered, this is not good. This is not good. Please die a little bit faster, zombies. I'm about to start taking way more damage. Okay, psych, let's dip, 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 dip. On out of there. We're gonna heal up in a second. I just, I didn't like the fact that we were cornered. That is a recipe. A full disaster. So we're gonna wait for the fast zombies over here to catch up to us. We're gonna hit him with a saw blade mace. Oh goodness gracious! Good out of that fast zombie, and then we'll hit that zombie number two with the saw blade mace up in here. Hopefully, oh they took my pantalones. How could you take another man's pantalones, fast biter? Come on, I know that you're a zombie, but have some decency. Goodness gracious! And let's just go in. Yeet. Some of the toxic abomination and flow to blow the wombo combos that are still trying to attack me. You guys, oh no, I lost my shoes too. They're taking it all. Oh, man, we're taking it all. But back to my sudden revelation I had before everything at the fan. I feel like uh, the gas station might get something new during season two as well. There might be a new chopper skin, kind of similar to like the, not the Leviathan skin, but like the chopper skin that we have right now. Something similar might happen for the new season because like I know that the last one expired and started when the season began until they like gave it a little bit of an extension so i wonder if that's gonna happen which is another thing to low-key be excited for is like a new chopper skin and then of course season three being some sort of a mythical huge update we've been waiting for a while whether that be the atvs or the settler outpost update it appears like it's gonna be one of the two and when it is holy guacamole that is something that I am looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to the day I find my pants, but that might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a journey here. All right, you guys gonna take my shirt too? Like, please leave my shirt out of this. Haven't I suffered enough material abuse, aka the materials on my freaking body being destroyed by you? Goodness gracious, yeet! No more hits for you. And this armor's actually be breaking kind of soon as well. But yeah, I don't know. Like, season one, it has me a little bit... It has me anxious but excited for the future because I just want season two to be better than season one and to really have a couple of those key improvements. But I think you, you guys have heard, I think you guys have heard me talking enough about that. But let me know what you guys think about it in that comment section down below. Definitely think that it is a, uh, it's gonna be important, man. It's gonna be important and I just, I need the new season. It's been so long. I genuinely don't remember the last time we waited this long between updates. I'm not used to this, man. I grew up back in my day. I grew up in days of weekly. Holy guacamole, that's a fairy tea. Why, 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 why did you do this? Why do you do this? Why, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii? No, Hawaii, hello, Lawai. I like what I'm seeing over here. I will be collecting some of that stuff and bringing it over to my chopper. First things first, let's just go ahead and break the last chest, which, oh my God, there's more berry tea. Oh, it burns, it burns. Yeah, I gotta try and take you people out a little bit on the lickety split over here because your boy is about to be what naked. I don't want to do that. I like being uh, not the butt naked. I like the opposite of butt nakedness. Holy guacamole. Okay, well, there goes the saw blade mace. That was pretty useful. 
We just lost its usefulness. Uh, we might deal with these last couple of fellers with the magic of... Uh, hold on, let's get a little bit of separation over there. There you go. Yeah, we might deal with these last couple of fellers with the magic of the pistol because, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to deal... Oh, dude, that did a lot of damage there. That could have low-key been disastrous. Yeah, I am sorry. It is time for us to use a little bit of pistol drizzle. Don't care if it makes some noise. You gotta go, Toxic Abominations. I forgot what the pistol sounds like. We never use this thing unsilenced, man. Silencer is just too good. Like, there's li literally no negative to having the silencer on your gun once you unlock it. All right. Y'all want to die a little bit quicker? I don't want to make too much noise over here. I wouldn't mind breaking through that furnace or whatnot as well once we get past this trying time. But seriously, I think I, I, I'm just like this this wait for season two. It's just been getting to me. It's been like, how many weeks has it been? Like, it's been like, what, three, four weeks since the end of season one? Dude, yeah, it's been almost like two months at this point. Has it? No, it's been, it's been like a month and a half. It's been like, I think six weeks since season one began or something. Like, it has been a very long time. I'm just not used to going this long without stuff, man. I think that's why I'm going a little bit crazy, a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm acting a little bit off of the hinge. Also, apologies if there are at times... Well, the video's going up a bit later than I would like. Super apologies about that. And also, just in general, sometimes with maybe, like, single upload days might happen. I am genuinely very sorry about that. It's just been a very stressful and very busy time for me because your boy has been... Uh, as you guys know, I'm graduating this year from college with my degree in computer science unless some sort of a disaster happens crossing my fingers that doesn't happen and uh, i'm looking to get some sort of a you know kind of get, get my career started after this that's not gonna jeopardize youtube no worries lads and lassies there's too much fan freaking fantasticness to spread for it to get in the way of this but it is something that i am looking towards kind of starting and kind of getting you know a like nine to five type of job and uh, as a result of that your boy's been doing interviews a lot let me just say, interviews take a lot of time, and low-key, they're stressful. Especially because my man's... Not my man's, but me. I don't know. It's been, like, my first time really, like, doing, like, full, like, interviews. Because I never, like, really did, like, internship interviews or anything like that. So it's, like, a whole new type of environment for me. And uh, it's definitely been, like, a little bit weird to get into the groove of it. It's been throwing me off a little bit, but I don't know. I'm always up for a challenge. So I'm... Oh, dear mom, I'm not up for the challenge of starvation. Please stop yourself. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm always up for a challenge. So it's definitely been, like, interesting to do. But it's also just been taking up a lot of time and, like, studying and stuff like that to, like, really remember all the stuff that I've, like, learned throughout. And it kind of, like, throughout, yeah, throughout, like, college. And just kind of, like, jog my memory. Make sure that I'm just, like, on top of all my stuff that I can be. It is, uh, it is, ta it takes a lot of time and it's stressful. Definitely some stress is involved. That is why I need to play Last Day on Earth. Why I need to raid things. Those things de-stress me and most importantly, I need season two, man. <laughs> Nothing like a new update to take the stresses away. Like genuinely guys, like, uh, with how long it's been, it like, uh, this new update, it's just, it's just gonna bring me joy. It's gonna bring me joy that I haven't felt in a long time. A new updates are some of my most... Oh, piece of candy. I like what I see there. They're literally some of my... my, my uh, English. Extra hard today. They're literally some of my most joyous of times. And we haven't felt that joy in a while. And uh, your boy needs that joy. Your boy needs that joy. I need, where's Nurse Joy? Where's Nurse Joy? I need her. But okie dokie. With that said, with that done, I think at this point we have pretty much broken into everything. So at this point, I will just kind of be sifting through the loot, picking the... Actually, we got a little bit more noise to spare. We should be able to break into this. I'm not taking two oak logs. And also into this iron working bed. Nothing over there. Unfortunately, I could break into that woodworking bench. And I think that I will after I just kind of like make sure to stack up and grab everything that I want. And just double check in here. I didn't leave any empty spaces in my chopper, right? Because that would be disastrous. You never want to leave empty. Okay, so that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just, just want to make sure. Just want to double check. Uh, we got to put the super valuable stuff away. I will also be picking up... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's super valuable, really. Eh, I guess I'll put the oak in there. I think Raiders kind of like oak. Uh, from there, let me make sure to put that uh, hatchet up in there. And uh, yeah, let's go and pick out some of the last things that we... I uh, could maybe get rid of that too. Yeah, I'll just leave it in there. Oh, and I can put that away. Nice. Actually, I'll, I'll put the wrench over there. I think the Raiders value the wrench a little. Or the red tick. I don't know what... The, I, I'll put the red ticket away. I like my red tickets. You guys know me. I like opening red ticket crates. So 
Worst case, if the big one somehow kills us, because we are missing Pantalones, which is going to make this a little bit more stressful once we summon his presence. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather keep the red ticket over a single wrench. And hokey dokey, this is the stuff we're going to be bringing with us out of here and uh, do it for some loot extraction. We're going to be breaking into this wood be bench. Wood I was about to call it like a bench in a chest, a best. And eh, nothing really that great over here now, if you'll excuse me. There is a... Big one trying to kill me. Oh, don't hurt me, please. I don't have many clothes on. I just have a shirt. <laughs> See you later, big one. Was not looking forward to seeing you today. Although I was looking forward to the raid. And unfortunately, we are still chasing the elusive jackpot raid that I haven't tasted in a long time. But luckily, we are building our way back up towards having many skulls, which will help us get raided, which is a good thing, as weird as that sounds, because then we will get revenge raids, and revenge raids are a lot nicer because we don't have to give any of the loot back to the raiders. We get some of our stuff stolen, but we can't recover it, uh, whatchamacall, and we don't have to do any quests or drop any coinage to make it happen. So all in all, makes it a pretty nice little dealio. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.